Hey, what's up guys? Dave here with a quick tutorial on how to set manual DNS servers on your Octoprint setup. Hey, build stuff. This is kind of a niche thing. Probably there's gonna be like four people ever that need to do this, but I was one of them and there's not clear documentation on how to do this in Linux in general but particularly with the distro that Octoprint, OctoPy is based on, it's kind of tricky. It took me a little while to figure it out. So first of all, how do you know if you need to set manual DNS servers? Well, let me run a quick scenario. I used to have my printer set up at a shop where for whatever reason, the way the network was configured, it was an old server, uh, an, old, um, an old router or something. When you plugged in a new device, the router would give out uh, IP addresses, but it would not assign DNS servers. It wouldn't assign itself as a DNS server. I don't know why. I don't know. It was old hardware. It wasn't. It wasn't my. It wasn't my network setup, so I can't take the blame for it working funkily. Funkily. I just made that word up. So one way you can tell this is the case if you open up a command prompt, use the ping command and ping yahoo.com. And of course it's gonna work here because I have DNS servers. You see, I get replies and I get an IP address. But if you ping a domain name and you don't get a reply, then try pinging an IP address that you know. And well, since I have this IP address here, I can just use that. But if you don't have DNS servers and you have to use another device to look up an IP address or maybe just know one, but I can ping yahoo.com's IP address 231.21 and you can see I get replies just the same. So, and then in Windows, IP config slash all. In Windows, you can see DNS server, it's listed here. The DNS server is the address of my router. That's pretty typical for, a, you know, your home consumer network router, whatever. Your, so your DNS server and your DHCP server are gonna be the same. That's normal. Um, but if your DNS server is not working, like was in my case, and you need to set a manual one, you can use uh, Google's free public DNS servers, 8.8.8.8. Okay, so here I'm using putty to get to my Raspberry Pi because I'm in Windows. And I changed the host name of my Raspberry Pi to v0pi instead of octopi because I have two printers. And my login password, zero. Okay, so now here we are in the Raspberry Pi, on in the OctoPi, and to, to see my network configuration, do if config, uh, if config, I spell that right? Okay, so if config is like IP config in Linux, but this only tells me my IP address, not my, uh, not my DNS servers. For that, we use resolve conf, S-O-L-V conf dash L, resolve conf dash L. And here we can see my name server as the DNS servers. And so again, you can see it's the same IP address as my router. Now, when I was having this issue that I described, and this would be blank. I would not have a name server, or it would be the, um, you know, what, what's it, the, the default, you know, that, that default IP address, you get 168 IP address or something like that. That's one of the one, one of those ones that doesn't work, but networks automatically assign. I don't know what it is. You know what I'm talking about. Okay, so this is where it's gonna throw you to into a uh, problem because if you Google how to manually set a DNS server in a Linux, you'll get instructions like these all over the internet. Open the resolve comp file with an editor and make the changes. So that would be sudo nano slash etc slash resolve dot conf. Okay, so now here's the name server list listed here. And here it says generated by resolveconf. So if you make a change here, it will automatically revert because the resolveconf application is automatically setting your DNS server in this distro of Linux. And this is one of the Linux issues is that 
some things are different on different distributions and it can be unclear about which settings you need to follow if you don't know what you're doing or you sort of kind of know what you're doing like me. So if you change the setting here, it will not work because it will just re revert. So exit. So what you have to do, it turns out, is just edit a different file. And that is so gonna sudo nano slash etc slash dhcp cd.conf and I'll have all these commands written in the description below. This configuration file is used by the resolve.conf application to set your networking stuff up. That's my understanding of how it works. So to fix, to set this, we scroll down to the bottom here where we can see these are um, commented out. So if we want a static domain name server, we could just delete this or we can just add the line static domain name server servers equals, and I'll do the uh, 8.8.8, the Google server. So static domain name servers, so looks like I spelled it right. Control X, uh, whoops, control X and yes to save. Save as a file name. Okay, so now if I cat that, just to make sure that those are there, dhcpcd and static domain name server. Okay, now I'm gonna reset my Raspberry Pi. Okay, I'm reset, let me get back in. v0pi.local pi. Okay, so now I'm back in and I'll do resolve conf dash L. And now you can see my name server is now set to what I want it to be. And I can test that that's working by pinging yahoo.com. And there we go, we get a reply, gets the address. And that's it. So there you go, guys. Hopefully this was helpful for you. There's probably, like I said, there's probably like four of you out there that need this. But if you do need this, it will be very helpful because this would have saved me a lot of time. It took me a while to figure this out. And so hopefully you liked it. If it worked for you, do me a favor, like, comment, subscribe, all that stuff. And I'll see you later.